Hi everybody, welcome to Monkey Island Madness. This is a live show taped over at Ustream TV, Mondays at 1 Eastern. I am talking to a live chat, so that's why we're yammering a lot. And um, today I think we're going to work with um, pen pastels, um, compressed pastels, and magical powders. And it's just an experiment. We don't know um how it's gonna work. But before I do that, Dee Dee, who is not here yet, I don't think. Let me check. I don't think Dee Dee's here yet. She's probably still getting herself something to eat. Um had mentioned that she something about the beast. That I have a beast and I do. And I've shown it a few times. It seems like every time I'm on. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And it's just a book um a Miguel Ruiz book, um, and you're not gonna be, it's not gonna focus, but anyway, it's M I Q U E L R U I R I U S. I get them at Barnes and Noble, and they're just big old fat books, um, real floppy with graph paper in them. And I use the Beast for everything, it's uh, like a bullet journal. Um, let's see, the other night I even just, I was sitting just, I'll do a, like a journal page in it here and there. I write down things I don't want to forget, things I have to do, things I did. I'll test inks in it, I'll, whatever. I try and write down something good that happened every day because I like being a grateful person. And I think when I have to think of my day and... Um, find something good. It, it makes me grateful for so many things. So this is my one for the last two years. Okay. And you can see I just do everything in it. I draw in it. I color in it. I write down quotes in it. Um, yeah, I do everything in it. That's a napkin that I slapped in there. Some pages are just unfinished and I don't care. Here's... Um, some alcohol inks on a transparent sheet that I was just messing with so I slapped it in there I just keep everything in here ideas now if I write down an idea in here um, and that's how this came up was the I did he's doing a um, society of idea collectors um, group if I write an idea down in here um, I do transfer it to my more organized um, like idea book but I'm going to start a new one with Dee Dee this time zombies here's this is for Eileen zombies eat brains you're safe <laughs> I write down things that make me laugh here um, orange is the new black season came out that day so just anything strive for progress not perfection mistakes are proof you are trying and oddly enough, it's not centered, but I tried. <laughs> so yeah, you'll find anything in the beast. This is just a um I have never faked a sarcasm in my life. So this is what it is. It's um just a book where everything goes. sarcasm because beating the crap out of people is illegal so you can see I'm a little irreverent um, yeah here's another quote when you realize how perfect everything is you will tilt your head back and laugh at the sky so yeah I just do whatever in here there's a receipt for some glasses I bought be kind work hard smile often stay humble just things to remind myself to try and be a better person. Yep, here, look. Super Bowl champions, Denver Broncos. Woo! So that's, you can see how I use it. It's just everything in one place, really. Do what you love. There's stickers in here. There's coloring book pages. There's a little bit of everything. This book holds two years of just junk like that. 
So that's the beast. And yes, the beast, you know, this is a, obviously a new book now. Um, the beast is in a Chic Sparrow um, leather cover. And this is, you know, just, it's the Traveler's Notebook style. It's just a different size is all. And because this thing is such a beast, I only keep this in it. I do have a, um, a folder where I can stick, you know, like this sort of stuff or stickers or something like that. I just took it out right now. And look at, I got that stamp, the monkey face stamp. I was so happy. So yeah, and then this is this year's that I've started. And you can tell that the whole month of June is just hospital stuff because that's what we did the whole month, month of June. So June is pretty pitiful. I might go back and decorate it up. I drew that at the hospital because it was Donald Duck Day that day. So, yeah, it's this year's isn't as much fun as last year's for sure, but it will get more fun. <laughs> Deja vu, the feeling that you've heard this crap before. bunch of stickers, washi tape. This is just a whole sheet of washi that I bought that day. Um, the monkey face. Um, somebody had used that on their um, ATCs for the zoo swap and I actually found it at Hobby Lobby. I said when I saw the ATC, I said I got to have that stamp and I had not thought about it again. Um, and then I was at Hobby Lobby and they had a sale on stamps actually and um, <clears throat> there was the monkey face hello yeah was that was yours Vicki okay well I found it so and then at the beginning I just keep a calendar the whole year birthdays that I want to remember things that I want to remember so yeah it's kind of where I organize my goofball life and I've quit doing the weekly schedule that was too big a pain in the butt and then an index in the front like bullet journals have. So, so that's the beast. And I love the beast and I will never give up the beast. And if this beast runs out, I will get a new beast. Hi, CB. Anybody else I might have missed while I was going on and on about the beast? But I don't know. Um, this may not work for some people. It works for me. Um, and every day I start out with the same four things. I change the litter in the litter box. I clean my kitchen. I think about what we're having for dinner. So if I have to unthaw meat or do something like that, I can get that done. And what's, oh, I don't have the fourth thing this year because um, normally it would be water the plants. But this year because we weren't here to get plants in or they all died, um, I don't have to worry about water in this year. So that's good. Hi, Leanna. You have two of those? Yeah. They're, I like them. And they just help me. And then for those of you who haven't been around the last few times, um, I've, I'm making these little, and it's much the same thing. Um, it's a traveler style enclosure with the elastic and inserts in it out of woven paper that we've made. Um, out of Magicals, um, and I sent one to Eileen already. She got hers because she helps me every week. This one is Dee Dee's, and this one you can't see the color real good. Let me see if the light helps. This one is really pretty. It really is, and this is going to be the inside um, cover for Dee Dee's. I'm just going to flip through them all real quick because I've got them all trimmed out now to size and they've got a, one coat of matte medium, matte medium um, on them so you can kind of see there's a little bit of a sheen but it's um, matte so it feels really good and the inside sheets also have some matte medium on them now and this one I ended up this one I matte medium the wrong side <laughs> So this one I really like. It's pretty. And this here's the stripes, Eileen. This is how the stripe paper ended up working out. So it's going to be like this. 
like that. When you open the book, I'll have the stripes going that way. So yeah, the striped one came out pretty cool. I actually liked it after it was all dried and um, painted with matte medium. I like that a lot. Um, here's the purple one, purple blue one. This one I think is gorgeous. Um, I'd like to recreate this one. I'm not going to sell them, Rebecca. Um, a couple of them I've um, assigned ownership already. Um, this one is going to my BFF here on the island who took care of my cat the whole time I was gone. And she's a purple lady, so this one's going to her. There's the outside, there's the inside. Um, and then the others I'm going to give away here on stream. This one is the one I was working on last. Um, it's much prettier than it looks on screen. Okay, that's a little better, but that it's a lot richer green than it looks on here. And I'm going to put this on the inside of this one. So it'll be like this, and then open it up to that. Or like that, whichever. I don't know. I'll choose what side of the paper I like. This one ended up being really pretty. I really like this magical page. Hi, Whippy. Hi, Teresa. I'm going to have to probably make some more. But yeah, they're, they're going to be given away here on stream. Um, this one I've decided I'm keeping. This one's going to be given away. This blue one, the navy blue with the yellow and the green, I'm keeping this. And the inside is this. Because this is too gorgeous for words. This is my all-time favorite. Um, I don't know about selling them. They're, they're kind of labor-intensive. Um, I like making the magical paper, and that's how this whole thing happened. Eileen and I have been like magical crazy for the last six months. You guys know because you're probably going, um, could we do something besides magicals? But no. Eileen and I are going to do magicals until all my magicals are gone, so don't ask. So anyway, this pink one, this one's really, really pretty. And then I'm going to do a different, I mean, oops, this is the way it goes. Did I paint the wrong side of this one too? I'm going to knock myself in the head. No, this is the, the cover, and on this one I did a stencil of a starburst, so I really like that. And then the inside will be this. Because I just love these magical papers, and I love making them. So maybe I'll end up with enough raw material to do some more. So in total, when everything is said and done, I will have made eight of them. And I've got homes for... So I'll be given, it looks like, four away. Okay? So... Oh, no, they last forever. Yeah. I hope they last forever, but at the rate Eileen and I are using them, they may not last forever. And then I wish I had enough to finish this one too, because I ended up really, this is just one of those sop-up pages we did the other day, but there's something real appealing about this. I think if I added like more yellow or something, I would really love this page, really, really love this page. And then this was left over from one of the things I was um, weaving onto. And somebody asked if there is a video. Um, you know, I don't know if the video went up or not. Um, I probably should start and do one from scratch. And what am I putting inside? Um, I'm going to, well, I don't know if I'll make the inserts for them or not. I probably should um, because they are an odd size. Um, go ahead and make the inserts from for them because they are a, a really unique size. Um, but then after, when you use up the inserts, you'll have to make your own. The inserts are real easy. It's just paper. And then how you use them or how anybody uses them is up to them. The inserts see are six and a half inches high. That is a really abnormal size. If it was a traditional... Um, Midori size, you could buy the inserts anywhere. 
you know, you can order them online. Hi, Monique. Um, add purple to this. That wouldn't be horrible, would it? I don't know. There's just something real appealing about this. I didn't record. Um, yeah, I didn't record the last one, CB, because we were just, um, we were really just weaving the paper. And I thought people are, cannot watch three hours of that unless we're here on stream together talking. So um, I think I do have two or three videos that I need to try and get up on YouTube. But for a while there, YouTube was being such a pita. I, um, I quit attempting to upload. But they are published and available on Ustream. So hi, Tammy. Hi, Kiki. Hi, Kat. Um, yeah, they're, um, they're published and over on Ustream. They just may not be on YouTube. All right, I wonder if it's the one I've shown, um, Suzanne. This is about, this is a leather version of, of a Midori or a Traveler's Notebook um, that I tried to copy the size. And I don't know, you, you said they have a lovely book at Dollar Tree. I got this little journal at Dollar Tree for a buck. And I bought it. I didn't have this with me, but I thought, you know what? That's about the size of that journal cover. And so I bought it, and sure enough, it fits in here. So, um, yeah. Maybe I'll just walk into Dollar Tree and buy a bunch of those to put in. But if you guys want to see how to make those, I guess I could do a whole different recording of how just to assemble how to put these together. It's it's pretty boring, actually. After I do the cover, which, you know, is just the um, woven paper, cut it to size. Um, to give it a little bit more substance, these are not just paper. They're, I mean, they are just paper, but in between the cover and the cover sheet in here, I put um, a piece of chipboard that I had um, made into faux leather. And I'll show you one. I've got one here. Um, this is just a... Nope, this one's not. But this one is just a piece of chipboard, um, like that's on the back of a pad of paper or something. Only this might be a little bit lighter weight than that. That I sprayed with glycerin water and then wadded up. And um, okay, you want a button, a video how to do it? All right, maybe when I go to assemble those, I will go ahead and do it. But um, I've got some chipboard coming actually today because I didn't have the correct weight. But I just made it into faux leather, cut it to fit right here, a panel here, a panel on the spine, and a panel on the back, covered it with the decorative paper, and then just put the elastic in. It, it's really simple, you guys. It's so simple. So, all right, if you guys want to see that, I'll plan sometime this week. Um, I'm going to go to Joplin with Ratatouille tomorrow. Um, so it won't be tomorrow for sure, but I'll probably come on, because as soon as I get the chipboard and get it turned into leather and get this stuff matte medium, I'm ready to assemble. I mean, I'm getting real, real close to done, and quite frankly, I'm sick of this crap sitting around. I'm ready for it to go away. So I forgot my coffee again. Let me get my coffee. But yeah, I'll go ahead and do that if you guys want. It's not hard at all. Anybody can do it. And even weaving the paper is easy. So we can do that. I won't know how to act if Eileen's not bossing me around, though. I heated this coffee up about 15 minutes ago, so it's not really even hot now.
but it's still yummy. Okay, if Josie doesn't stream on Wednesday, yeah, because I probably won't go to Joplin on um, Wednesday if I go tomorrow. Hi, Third Terry. You've never seen anyone as good with an X-Acto knife? That's funny. Um, yeah, if Joycey doesn't stream, I'll, I'll plan on that, actually. That Wednesday I'll stream again. So anyway, um, I don't know, Button, if Joycey's camera's working or not. Don't have a clue. All right, so, Eileen, what we need to figure out is, do we want to um, take some of the pages that we've made in the past, for example, this one, or here's some more, um, magical papers that we can alter some more. Um, do we want to add pen pastels to stuff that we've already made? Or do we want to start from scratch? This one's pretty. I like it. I'm going to use these for the um, backgrounds of my ATCs for um, Angie's swap this time. And if you guys don't know, I think today is actually the last day to sign up for um, Angie's ATC swap. And she's doing the year or the decade you were born in. So, for example, I was born in the 50s. Um, seriously, old wench. This one's ugly. We can do that one. This one might be fun to play with. Um, I will try and I will record Vicky whether or not it will go up on Ustream depends on the Ustream or YouTube gods I don't know this one is so pretty can you see that this one I probably will just keep because it's so pretty start from scratch and see how it works before you mess up the other, other pretty papers okay all right, do we want to put a layer of um, pan pastel and then try and do magicals on top? Is that what we want to try and do? Hi, Mindy. All right, here I've got some, I'm going to do cardstock, I think. But, well, we're going to maybe try a little bit of both because the um, cotton fiber paper absorbs the water so much better. All right, let's, just for funds, um, so anyway, um, contact Ange if you want to do the ATC swap with her. She, um, You can enter once or twice. If you enter once, you have to make 18 of the same, you know, or, or somewhat the same. Like, I'm going to use those backgrounds, so... Um, mine will all be exactly identical, but whatever I do on top will be identical. Um, yeah, so I'm joining for 18. So, so if you want to do the ATC swap, contact Ange. I think this is the last day. I have, I just sent her an email a minute ago that I would do it. Okay, I only have 10 pan pastels because I'm pitiful and I need more. Um, and Eileen would love me to order more, but... Oh, wait a minute. I'm a big fat liar. <laughs> I did order more. <laughs> oh my god, there's something so wrong with me. I did. I ordered the um, a pastel set. I did. I forgot. But aren't these just the most awesome little pans of goodness? You have to admit, these are some kind of awesome. And these are all real, real light. And I ordered these because I wanted the, the skin tone. And the light pink is so pretty. And the color is, look at that, pale, pale, pale blue and pale, pale, pale green. So I'm a big fat liar. I did order more. And I might order more again. Just so hunky UPS will come and see me again. <laughs> she pulls out 35 more. What? What's the tentative, tentative time on Wednesday would be um, same time, 1 o'clock, right after Dee Dee. 
Picola Art. Hi. I have never met you, so I'm glad you're here. Yeah. So, anyway, we'll just put down some color. Okay, and if you're not familiar with Pan Pastels, um, I'm not crazy. Oh, see, I always want to turn that light on. Um, they're powdery. They're, they're, yeah, they're kind of messy. And I don't like that feel on my hands, but I love the pigment so much I put up with it. Hi, Dee Dee. I went ahead and showed the beast first, so it's out there. Um, the peel scent is gorgeous. I don't know. Anyway, the turquoise. Well, I don't really have a turquoise. I think what you guys are seeing is you're thinking this is turquoise. This is actually a green. That That's what I'm saying. The color representation is so not accurate. I, I can't. I could bring my... Uh, I could bring the ot light out, but that just makes a big fat glare. So, um, yeah. So, I'm just going to start. What color do we want to start with? Eileen is here. We'll start with green because that's what we do. Um, if you're not familiar with Pan Pastels, they, um, they also make these little applicator tools to use with them. Um, and they're called soft. Soft something. Let me see. Oh, here we go. Soft sponge. Um, so you can smear with them. And then they also have um, applicator tools to use. But because I'm going to be doing big areas, I'm just going to use this. And it's got yellow on it. But to clean it off, all you have to do is have a paper towel or a napkin or something nearby and smear it off. And it might look like there's still color on there, but that pretty much cleans them off. So I'm so excited that I found those pen pastels that I forgot I ordered. All right, we're going to start with green. What is the beast? Okay, Whippy. I'll just show it again real quick. This is the prior two years um, beast. It's a McGill Ruiz book that I got. You can get it at Barnes and Noble for ten bucks. It's got I think three hundred sheets of paper in it, which means six hundred um, pages, and it's like an everything in one place book where I write down the things I have to do every day. I write down something I'm grateful for, I slap washi tape in it, I collect quotes in it, I do everything in the beast. This, The beast is my life. If I want to remember something, I put it in the beast. And then if it's something I have to keep remembering, I just keep forwarding it. So, 4th of July, got a flag. So this is the beast. The beast is just a book of my life. And it's fun, and it's pretty, and it's colorful, and it's got products in it, and stickers, and stamps, and everything. That is the beast. And I keep it in a, um, this is current year beast. Um, I keep it in a Chic Sparrow um, Traveler's Notebook cover. So that's the beast. I made the dates. It comes, when it comes, the whole, entire book is just this kind of paper. The entire book is just like this. So the dates along the top and the page splits and everything like that, I create that myself. The dates, I write those in. The, the um, borders, I do the borders. Anything that's on this page, I did that. I love the beast too. I, I just love the beast. And you know what? It has become kind of a, I, this is going to sound crazy, but it has become kind of a like a safe place. You know, like when I don't know what else to do or I'm just feeling like I want to be creative, but I don't know what to do, I might just grab a quote and illustrate a quote. Um, do I skip days? I No, I don't skip days. <laughs> that would be totally out of my character. Now, I will skip like at the end of a month, I always leave a blank page. So 
the other night I was just I um, Lisa Scott I wish she was here she sent me a, a nice ATC and everything and I've got to send something back and she wrapped it in a, a napkin that had these butterflies so I was just sitting there and I cut out the butterflies and just did this page while I watched while I binge watched um, American Crime or something so I mean it's not a work of art but it just it filled in a page but then at the end of the month see here's um, July 31st this is today um, I'll have this part of the page that's blank that I can just go back and and slap something in there and then I did leave a two page blank spread here yeah before I start the month of August and look at how many birthdays are in August I'm gonna freaking go broke anyway so yeah I left a you can leave whatever you want but every day gets something yes if, if it's only the date the date gets written down I list chores I list phone calls I gotta make I list uh, for example I had to call about Robert's medicine and I had probably 15 phone calls that I made to um, to find see if I could find it cheaper and I don't know if you guys know that you can do that but you can shop medicines but anyway um, so I wrote all that down there the phone numbers who I talked to the prices they quoted it's not on 15 sheets of paper it's right there all in the book so if I want to go back later if I try and remember well who did I talk to at Walgreens I have their name I have their phone number I have everything those books are ten dollars at um, Barnes and Noble so those are the kinds of things I write down there if I talk to a friend for example on the phone I talked to a friend um, the other night on the phone that I hadn't talked to in a long 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 time and so that was my um, my grateful for the day is that I, I got to talk to um, Mary for a long long time on the phone um, so yeah but yeah I do I do list the things I want to get done every day and it helps me be accountable because it's easy for me without a job um, to put things off until tomorrow and I'm bad about it and I'm just scribbling this on here because I just want to see if the magicals are going to work on top of it so um, yeah, I, I really think the beast helps me keep accountable. I write down when Robert takes his medicine, um, that I flushed his pick. You know, now that I'm doing stuff like that, I just I want to know. So yeah, that's the kind of stuff. And as far as chores, I don't necessarily write all my chores because I have a chore chart. Monday I do this, Tuesday I do that. Because otherwise, yeah, certain things would never happen. The kitchen floor would never get washed if um, if I had, like, a choice about it. Yeah, the kitchen floor would never get washed. The only thing that would happen regularly is the toilets would get scrubbed. Otherwise, the rest of it I could care less if it gets done or if it doesn't. But it's got to get done. If the page blows up, you had nothing to do with it. Now, aren't you a chicken? All right, now I'm going to add some lighter green on top of it. I love these pastel colors. They're so pretty. That just kind of mutes the other green. So pretty, though. I'm glad I got these out. Now it makes me want more. <laughs> but if you've got to do a big background quick, boy, these pan pastels are nice. Just be prepared for the powder. That's it. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I write down when he does the meds because it's important that we keep certain times. Yep, it's the sort of stuff we're doing now that we didn't think we'd be doing. But, yeah, I have to have it written down somewhere because, you know, when you're doing stuff like that, taking medicine every day or flushing the picks or doing whatever you're doing, 
it's hard to remember, like, did I do that today or was that yesterday? Because you're doing it, it seems like to me, all the time. So, yeah, just reminds me, it's done, move on to the next thing. And I'm not sure, I'm go I have an idea book. Oh, and Didi, I didn't answer, well, I did answer you, but I don't think you saw it. Um, I'm going to use a Traveler's Notebook style book for my idea book, and I already have one. Um, you know, I, I actually have two. I have a binder where I keep, um, for example, if there's a photo or, a, you know, if I grab something out of a magazine or something like that and it's like a full page, I keep um, that in a binder. And then if I need instructions or something like that, I use a, um, like a traveler style notebook, only a larger format. It's a wider format, more like the Beast. So, all right. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, Button. That's what we're going for next. And see, I spread all these out, but I can't have these out when I start spraying water. So let's do a couple of bases, and then we'll put these away and get the... Um, there's Eileen's green, and it looks better in person than it does on screen. And I'm going to do one on just cotton fiber paper where the paper will be more absorbent. Yep. You know me in Traveler's Notebooks, Dee Dee. I am a fan, a fan, a fan. All right, the next one, unless somebody hollers out a color, it's probably going to be blue. And the purple, I'm not going to do the purple because the purple is, um, yeah, no, I won't use the beast, Dee Dee. I'll, I'll have one specific to um, ideas. I already have one. I just haven't dug it out. I've got two. I've got the um, traveler's notebook and the binder. And what I do is if, if I have a picture of something that I have made note of in the Traveler's Notebook, I always put C binder so that I know I have a picture or something of it. But you know what? Someone needs to kick my butt because I write down the ideas. Do I actually go back and look at them later? We're not using Pissy Purple. Um, rarely. All right, let's see. We can't use a real dark color. Let's use, it's got to be probably one of the primary colors. It's either going to be yellow or blue. Let's do yellow. It's going to come out yellow green because I'm just going to use the same tool. I think there's actually, I got black somewhere because I've got this black sitting here. So it's got little things of black in it too. Oh well. And if I wanted a pure color, I would actually clean those um, little pots before I dug in. I'm just not that worried about it. But see how clean they come. This had green on it. You do that, they come back out perfectly clean. But we're just experimenting to see how the magicals are going to work on it. Darn you, Eileen. Now I want to order more. One nice thing, if, the, if this works, and we're going to find out if it does, you could do your um, pan pastels through a stencil or something and get a real nice design in the background rather than just scribbling like this. Can you see the watermark coming? Yeah, you guys can't see it. Yeah, you can a little bit right there, the watermark coming through. And the crazy thing is, if you wanted a solid yellow background like this, go get the yellow paper. 
that's why I was thinking about a stencil or something because I wouldn't normally colorize a whole sheet of paper. If it was a small background or something, I might, but otherwise, I just go get the yellow paper. Unless it was a color I didn't have. And believe me, I'm not using much of this, you guys. Like this, these little pans, I think will last me forever. Because you just don't use very much. And I like products that you get a lot of bang for your buck. I really do. And this is definitely is one of them. We did a color book page one time with um, pen pastels. That was pretty much a huge fail, right, Eileen? All right. Yeah, I do the Versamark with the pen pastel pastels over it. Um, maybe I'll show them that in a minute. Let me pick these up because, really, I cannot have water around these. I love the little pans, though. I need to get the um, the holders, and I'm getting enough now where I, I could almost justify getting it. But yeah, what what Suzanne's ta or Susan is talking about, um, stamp with the Versamark ink and then go over it with pan pastels, it almost acts like embossing because the ink stays wet and anywhere you put the powder on top of the wet ink, it's darker than the surrounding area. I should have an example of it somewhere around here. I've done that, and it is very, very cool. I love that. That's probably my favorite technique with the pan pastels. All right, almost done. I'm going to hate Eileen all day long now. Because she's got the wants going. All right, what color are we putting on the um, on the yellow? I think orange and pink always looks good with yellow. Always. But see how compact they are? That's ten colors. And you can get trays that these little things sit in, too. I just haven't justified it yet. But I know me. I will. I'm bad that way. All right, we're going to clean up what little bit of powder. I didn't get too messy that time. <laughs> Eileen, you know better. I will love you all day long like I do every day. I'm not sure how much of that is old um, magicals, frankly. And the other day after I um, I splattered that black um, acrylic ink on Dee Dee's um, book, oh my gosh, my phone was covered. I had black splatters literally everywhere. So I might look at. I might turn into Jean. <laughs> no more splatters. The trays are cheap plastic. Oh, you don't like them? You have them? Okay, well, thanks. You just saved me some money. I'll order some more pan pastels. Or magicals. All right. And I think most of you by now are familiar with the magicals. If you're not, say so, and I'll, I'll show you what they are. Um, and a lot of the different sets. I don't think I have them all, but I have a lot of them. Um, this is kind of a bright yellow. Let's use the Magical Mai Tai. Yeah, well, if you don't like the trays, see, I saw them over at, um, well, that one got put in the wrong one. Yay, me. Here, these two just got um, switched around. We're going to do like a, a light orange and a light pink. The lightest pink is probably the plumeria. Okay. Let's start with those. 
We're going to know here in just a second how this is going to work because I'm going to spray the paper. And this is cotton fiber paper, which should be real absorbent. I mean, it should sop up. Yeah, see the water just kind of beads up. We'll find out. We're not going to have any preconceived ideas. We're going to wait and see what happens. Okay, get out my little pot of magic here. And I just sprinkle it with a fan brush that at this point gets used for nothing else but this anymore because this is all I do. And just randomly throw some magicals down on it. Now this is supposed to be a real, real light orange. Look at how that's not light to me. But it might dry lighter than it always than it does. One thing I was surprised about um, when I put matte medium on those pages the other day, the colors really, really brightened up. So that I'm going to have to remember that because I was really pleased with that. The colors became a lot more vibrant. All right, we got more orange than than pink, but it's okay. Don't be smattering. You got the Drop Dead Diva? I, do I have that one? I don't know if I do or not. I don't want the ones that have shimmer in them that much. So, yeah, I'm not a shimmery person. All right, here we go. And I, at first I thought the water was beating up on the pan pastels, and it's really not. It, well, and it could be the paper. The, the cardstock may act completely different than the um, cotton fiber paper. I don't know. It seems like the, and it could be because where I wet the paper, but it seems like the magicals aren't moving as much. Hmm. I don't know. The yellow's staying nice and bright, though. I will say that. I wonder, you know what? They're not going to mix. The yellow isn't going to mix with the orange and the pink. The pink and orange will mix. So that's good to know that if you want a color that is not going to run or mix with what's sitting on top of it, um... Because the yellow is staying absolutely yellow. And of course, I've covered most of it up now. But if I go in here and blot or something, I just love these. These just make me so happy just to even look at. Just think, if you were me today, you would have already had a BLT and you get to play with Magicals. What is not right in my life? Nothing. It's perfect. It's pretty much perfect. And I'm just letting him run right now without too much manipulation. Deciding if I want more color somewhere. Because I could start picking this up and making it move. And um, down in here, can you guys see? That is just lickable. It's so pretty and how the oranges run up here. Another thing that might be fun to try too is how I crumpled the paper um, and then laid it flat, back out flat um, and see if it would run in the creases like that because that right there is way cool. Way cool. I do have, I try and have a good attitude Karen. I really do. It's not hard to have um, a good attitude. It's really not. It's all perception, how you look at your life. But a BLT will make your life virtually perfect the minute it's ready. Yeah, I'm not going to lick it. I want to, but I'm not going to. That's the difference, Eileen, is the yellow is absolutely staying put. 
But of course it would do that on yellow paper too. All I did was turn the paper yellow. But say I only wanted yellow in certain spots, that's how I could keep the yellow and not um, jack it up with the other colors. I don't know what the technical term for jack it up is, okay? I know, homegrown tomatoes, my neighbor is being so generous. And he's going in for surgery Wednesday, so he said, you just go over in the garden and pick whatever's ready. So starting Wednesday, I have like free reign of the garden. <laughs> Yeah, I really like the way it looks. Now, one thing, you guys, when you do this and you add as much water as I just did, um, drying time is kind of an issue. The pa the pastel is not keeping... Any, the Magicals, in my opinion, are behaving exactly like they would. Um... They might be actually running a little bit more because the paper is an like cotton fiber paper. If you get it wet, it absorbs everything immediately because it's got cotton in it, right? Um, if anything, it maybe has let it sit on top a little bit more and it's not absorbing. I'll know when I look at the back side, but I don't want to jack with it yet. All right, let's see that other piece of paper. That's not cotton paper. This is cotton paper. Oh, and you guys, CB, you'll be proud of me. I ironed these sheets so that they would be flat again. I haven't had an iron out in, I can't tell you how many years, but it's been years. Um, but I got the iron out to iron these papers. Okay, this is how much was absorbed on the cotton fiber paper. Um, looking at it through the back. Here's 100%. Here's what was absorbed. So even the absorbed side is pretty cool, right? So I'll be able to tell on the back side how much is absorbed. It absorbed a little bit, but not terribly. Yeah, this is the way looking cool. I want to pick it up and get it running back this way, but I don't want to jack with what's here because I like this. And I, when I add just little spritzes here and there, I can see little puddles of powder that didn't dissolve, that I want to go ahead and get dissolved. You can see it. But that's the one thing I would definitely say, Eileen, is the pan pastels keep that true yellow color. I do. CB, when I went to look for the iron, I kind of had an idea where it was. Um, when I went to look for the iron, <clears throat> I got up in the closet in the kids' room. That's where I keep it. I have three irons. One of them has never been used. <laughs> How's that for scary? I laughed at myself. I was like, why would you have an iron that's never been used? Don't ask me. I never figured out the answer. But it's a nice iron. If you ever need one, I'd be happy to send it to you. Because I ain't going to start ironing clothes. I know that. The chances are I'll iron more artwork. Oh. Alright. I got the heat gun out. Yeah, we invented new use. Yeah, I, I had one... Um, actually, I probably have, maybe I gave that other one away, but I used to keep one just for doing wax on skis. So, yeah, I'll do one just for paper. Heat gun. You know, and there's so many variables, you guys. I say that this blended more with the... But it could be that it was just this time I added more water. So who knows? But I know the yellow is definitely staying yellow. Hi, King Bar. I haven't seen you in a long, long time. So I'm glad you're back. 
And Linda, I showed the, the napkin you sent me in the ATC, which was beautiful. And thank you, by the way. I've got a um, present coming back at you. Um, but yeah, I used your um, napkin in my journal. The butterfly one. So thank you. I appreciate it. I've got some ponds over here. Oh, like in, in here? Can you guys... Oh, it's got to dry so I can show you. Hurry. We're having a cool snap here too, Dee Dee. It's only like if I'm looking at the thermometer out my window, it's only like 80 degrees today. Well, thank you, Linda. Thank you for being real. It is so sweet of you. Uh, I think it's dry enough that I can move it um, over to the... Yep, that's the one big difference is the yellow stayed yellow. Down there it's going to jack up a little bit. Let me clean it up. Just cleaning up the excess because I'm going to make a mess if I don't. I only got to walk like two steps. Well, I like that, Eileen. I like it a lot. I like that you can keep that one color, and that means we can get the color just where we want it, like we're going to control the magicals, right? But now we're going to do the green. What colors do we want on the green? We're not putting more green on, Eileen. It's green enough. It is. Wait till it dries a little bit. We're going to do the green. We may do 500 of these because this is fun. I'm enjoying this. Hi, Allie. All right. Um, let's see what colors. I want to do the um, C'est La Vie Cerise, I think that's this one. Look at how yummy that is. I don't know what it's going to do on this, but we're going we're gonna to try. Hi, Ange. Hey, I am... Um, I told these ladies about the um, ATC swap, and I sent you a email this morning. Um, so if you want to put your email or something in the chat, go ahead. Um, Eileen can open links for you. See if you can get some more people to join. And I'm going to put the, well, I think I'm going to, I don't know. This is out of the Go Grease Lightning set. This is the Danny Zuko denim. This is, I love this color. This is so pretty. So we'll keep it greens and blues. And maybe, I don't know, maybe, you know what? We're going to use the Ocean Breeze Blue rather than, you got it? Okay, good. And I'm only going to do 18 because I, I don't want to sign up for something that I'm not sure that I can really do because that puts you in a bind and I don't want to do that. I'm going to leave this one out as a maybe. So, and I'm really happy with my little swatches that attach to the container. Those make me happy. 
See, it's the little things in life. Um, did I tell them? Well, I, what I said was it could be your birth year or your decade. Um, a little pop of orange, we can do that. Um, but that's all I told them. Because um, I forgot the other part, sorry. Wait, do you want to do Mango Mania? That's kind of a brighter orange. I kind of like that one. We can go that or we can go um, the lighter. I think we maybe should stick with the lighter. I think those are going to be our colors. And this is on cardstock, so um, this is not going to absorb the water as well. And this is by far not a controlled experiment. <laughs> Um, because, you know, I really thought the, the pan pastels would maybe repel the water a little bit, but I don't know if it's the paper finish or the pan pastels, but the paper, I mean, it is beating up more than it normally would. So I'm giving this paper a pretty good amount of water and look at, there's magically some powder in there that I have no clue where it came from. Probably just me handling these tubes over the paper. Mango? You, she wants the mango. Okay, we're doing the mango. Never mind what I want. <laughs> we're going to give Eileen what she wants because that's how we roll around here. I treat her just like one of my grandkids. You want that? Okay, you could have that. All right, that paper has already absorbed all that water. Yikes. This is going to be one great big huge pond. Okay, the first color I'm slapping on here is the Danny Zuko. And I'm not going to use a lot of this because it is blue, blue, blue. Look at how fast. You know what? The pan pastels make this paper absorb the water more, I think. All right, that's all the blue. Hi, real bunny. All right, we're going to keep these separate. Okay, give that another spritz so we know where the color's going. Oh, that's so pretty. I love this blue. Love it, love it, love it. Is that not cool? You cannot deny. That is cool. Very cool. Okay, we're going to do the... I was going to put Ocean Breeze, but I think I'm going to put a little bit of this C'est La Vie. Um, darker green, much like the, the color of the Pan Pastel itself. Just here and there, not very much. That's it. Yeah, it's awesome already, isn't it? I know, it's just it's so cool. It's so cool. Okay, and, and for those of you that aren't familiar with the Magicals, right now I still have some little places where there's um, concentrated powder. Um, anytime that gets wet, it's going to reactivate. So um, just keep that in mind. Yeah. And they're hard to control. They're going to do pretty much what they want to do. But I'm loving this color scheme right here right now a lot. A lot. But I was going to say something else, but I forgot what. It'll come back to me. Sometimes my brain works faster than my mouth. You can believe that. <laughs> okay, now we're going to have a battle in the chat because um, Tar Heel Teresa is saying, Janet, add purple to that rather than the orange. And my boss, who I'm incredibly afraid of, has said she wants orange. 
We can do another one. How about that? We'll do it. Because, Teresa, quite frankly, the color combination that you have just requested is my favorite. Blue, green, purple is probably one of my all-time favorite color combos. But on this one, we're going to appease my boss because I'm scared of her. <laughs> scared to death of her. But look it up in there. Can you see up in there? I'm going to have to lift this up. This is really absorbing the water. Like I don't have puddles like I did on that other one. I can lift this up for you now. Hang on. i got to show you up close. How cool is that little area there? And where that yellow or orangish color came from, I have no clue. It was in with the green. And that red right there, that was in with the green powder. We're going to get a little bit of run in there just because we want to. All right, we're going to add some orange. We'll do another one, Teresa, with your color schemes next. Because, yeah, I want to see that too. The only thing is I can't put the, well, why couldn't I? Well, hmm, let me think. That purple in the pan pastels, I mean, when I say purple, it is really, really purple. Now, I'm not going to put a lot of orange on here, just here and there. Like I can control it. I can't control myself. All right, that's enough. Now, one thing I like about that orange, like if you just get a little bit of it here and there, it looks just like rust. And I love that. I'm going to let this run a little bit. Really, this almost looks like underwater to me. Doesn't that look like underwater scene? Yeah, I, I'm liking this a lot too. Now one thing... What we were doing was the experiment with the green. I've almost got too much magicals on it now to see the green that we started with. My bad. My bad. Sometimes I just can't help myself. That reminds me of a... Was it Pee Wee Herman? <laughs> Pee Wee Herman's a pervert. Um, I can't think of it. Anyway. It needs a merman, okay? That might be cool, Janet, if the purple is not a black purple color. Yeah, see, that's what I'm I'm worried about, that there's the, the purple itself in the pan pastels is um, is too, do, too, too dark, and the pastel one I have is too, too pastel. But see, what I love is when these, and you guys can't see it, but I'll try and lift it up because I got just a few puddles. Um, see there where that red has started just running? They're like the last resistant powders that dissolve, and then they keep that deep, deep red color. Oh, I like that. Here's another one down here doing it, where it, it's like the very last one to, to dissolve. And that's where you get those little pieces of color here and there. I'm going to have this all up my arms. Oh, and I still have, i got to put my other shirt on. Yeah, I like this paper a lot, too. It's just, every time you do it, you get something different. You never know what to expect. This one's gorgeous. I will say that. putting on my paint shirt. Alright, I'm going to dry this just real, real quickly. And we'll do a purple one.
actually this would have been really pretty if I didn't even add the orange and just left it the blue and green. It's pretty this way though too. All right, I think I got most of the puddles, so I can move it safely. I did a different setup today, and I just discovered that it doesn't leave me any way to get out of here easily. Yeah, that is some kind of pretty. Okay, and I brought the orange one back so you can see after the paper finished absorbing um, how it has come out. See how it changed? I mean, it's still very fluid up in here. Um, but yeah. So it dries a little bit different than what you see. Like maybe it doesn't look different to you. It does to me like that orange in there is not near as bright as it was. It's still really pretty though. And right in the center there, you can see I didn't get the paper as wet. So that's that one. Almost dry already. I'm going to use the... Um, I actually like, in this instance, the way the um, cardstock worked better than the cotton fiber paper. For real. We're going to use that same green background, only this time we're going to do just blue and purple. Yeah, you can use the pans and the magicals together for sure. And the one thing I'm, I'm certain of that we learned on that yellow one is that if you want yellow that doesn't mix with your other colors, if you want it to stay that vibrant yellow, that is a perfect application for this. And I think I put too much magicals on the green one and I lost my green background. And that was my fault. That wasn't, yeah, that was all me. So I'm going to use the same green again. And actually that green was a mixture of the this dark green and the um, the pastel green. Jeez, Eileen, I'm gonna end up ordering more of those crazy things. I love doing stuff like this though, you guys, though, because now I found another use for my products that I spent good money on, and a lot of times these magicals, especially, as much as I love them, and I do love them, I can't even tell you I don't. I love them. Um. I just don't use them that much because, for example, if I use this in my be in the beast, I would have to spray a fixative on it so that it wouldn't travel all over the book or onto the page opposite. And I don't do fixative in the beast. I guess I could, but as a rule, I do not because the beast ends up being fluffy enough as it is. So, yeah. I I'm kind of careful how much stickers and stuff I put in there. There was still a little, little bit of yellow on this, but I don't care about that. I don't want a link, you evil enabler. ET used to stand for Eileen the Enabler Elf. Now it stands for Eileen the Evil Enabler. Of course, the cool thing about that is when we all end up in the poorhouse, we'll all be together. So, that's okay. And, you know, I don't think it even matters how careful you are about getting 
um, the color down, really. I'm going to add some light on top of this um, but so that I don't have to clean it up, put it away, clean it up, put it away. I'm going to do a couple right now at the same time. Um, the thing about the pan pastels, though, and I, I want to do some where I go back and add pan pastels on top. That purple, all right. Now, purple is a hard color to mix with, you guys. It really is. All these colors are so, so rich. Yeah. There's white. There's the brown. The burnt sienna color is really pretty. We could try and do burnt sienna. No, let's do blue. And I'm just going to, I'm not even going to clean this. I'm just going to put the blue right on top of it. And then I'll, I'll mellow it out with some of the um, pastel blue on top. And then I'm going to leave more white on this page. I say as I color in the whole page. But I'm going to do this really, really crazy random. No thought at all. All right, that's going to be that. And then I'll get the pastels out. Wonder if you could add some Dilutions Mica Spray to give it a shimmer. Um, you know, I that's probably an Eileen question, frankly. I've never used the Dilutions Mica Spray. Um, know nothing about it. Don't own any. Couldn't experiment for you if I wanted to. Um, yeah, maybe like CB, would you know? Um, Pat, if I was doing real art with the pan pastels, yes, I would use a fixative. I really would. Um, do you know Vaughn? Pat, she works with pastels a lot. Um, and she could probably answer that question too. Another person, and she's not around that much anymore, but I think she still reads Twitter, is, um, Kathy Arbor. Kathy Arbor does beautiful pastels, and she has the whole set of pan pastels, and I'm really uber envious of her. Um, but yeah, she does some beautiful work. I don't know if she uses a, a fixative or not. If you could add the um, Dilutions Mica Spray to give the um, not the pan pastels, the um, the magical powders. I'm assuming that's what she's talking about. A shimmer. I'm not a shimmer person, so I would probably never do that. But um, Tar Heel Teresa wanted to know if you could add the, the mica sprays to give it a shimmer. I don't know why you couldn't. I mean, I've not tried it with anything that it hasn't performed really beautifully with. Not that I've tried it with every product, but I also know, too, that after they dry, um, if you've dissolved all the powder, they're permanent. Um... So, for example, if I wanted to go back on um, top of any of these papers that I've created and watercolor on them or write in ink, um, I think it would accept it all perfectly. Kathy does set hers. Okay. Yeah, I, I with these pan pastels, if I was doing real art that I was going to sell or display, there's no doubt I would use a fixative on it. 
you know, a workable fixative until um, I was done working on it, and then maybe a permanent fixative at the end, a finished fixative when I was done. All right, we're going to use the same blues, but we're not going to add that green, and we're not going to add orange. We're going to add the purple, and I don't have... Well, let's see. I have the Pop Rock Purple. Let's see what... Ooh, that one's kind of pretty. It's kind of a lavender. It's got blue in it, though, too. Because the only purples I really have are either the the Uber Uber Dark one or the Light one. Those are my choices. Yeah, so it's either going to be this purple. Can you see that purple? or the light purple. Those are my colors. Can you see that? And this one is not showing near as vibrant as it really is. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, this is really pretty when you use it though. Oh, it's hard being me. Let, well, help. We can use both. We'll just use a little bit of each. Why not? Might as well just use them all. We got them. Alrighty then. This is one is going to be really, really pretty. I already know because of the color selection. Now see here on the edge of the sheet where I had um, the pen pastels that I went over the edge with? They don't mix with the water at all. When they're down, like they're, they're down. That's it. We're going to do blue first. It's that dark Danny Zuko. And I do it first so I can work around it because after you, like if I put this down on top of other colors, um, yeah, it has a tendency to want to just take over the world. So, like you got to put it on first and control it. Because it's Danny Zuko, you know. Be right back. I'm going to take a walk until this is done. Oh my God, you are such a spoiled brat. That's all I got to say for you. Tell your mother she has raised a monster. Eileen's mother, if you can hear me, you raised a monster. I sat, <laughs> yeah, so you tell her, Teresa, I sat through that. You can sit through this. Um, see, I didn't put much of the dark down. I'll go ahead. I'm going to spray it real quick again. Just, I don't necessarily want puddles, but I'm going to do the lighter blue next. It's so pretty. I think it would be fun to sit and wherever they work on these, whether it's a lab or I don't know where they would design this stuff, but I think it would be fun to start mixing up powders and coming up with the colors and then naming them. Like, of course, you'd have, probably have to have alcohol involved for that, which I, I would be okay with that. Yep, Danny Zuko is definitely a pretty color, no doubt about it. But this Ocean Breeze one is really pretty too. But see, you could, the green is staying green. And that's, I think, the cool thing about the Pan Pastels is the color stays put. And that is a cool thing. Now, this purple is real, real dark. So 
we will use it very judiciously. might do just a tiny tiny bit yeah it's it's pretty 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 these colors are so rich I actually like starting with that color base I did add blue we started with the blue I'm gonna add the lighter purple later and maybe I sh well, I have to kind of dissolve some of these. Okay, I'm going to add the lighter purple in. That is lickable. I agree. Uber, uber lickable. And I'm trying to kind of leave that spot of green right there. I hope this works. If it does well we know how we did it, we can always go back and Recreate it. That lighter purple has white in it. So that's why you see that burst of white. Oh, and something had a bunch of red in it. I'm going to sop this up because I didn't really want it on that light, light green. So I kind of am learning that I'll, I can um, pick up and alter what I don't like or don't want now. Yeah, that's some kind of pretty, huh? Down here, I'm going to try and move it. Let it run this way. Because I, I do like me some drippage. You guys can't see that. But down, oops, I'll have to drag it. Down here where it kind of got some drippage, I like that. And isn't it odd, that light purple is where I ended up with these blotches of red. Can you see how red, red, red they are? I did not expect that at all. And there's a big blob of red right there that I'm going to try and sop up a little bit and up here because I don't want the red 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 no Eileen you're back from your walk already Eileen oh my gosh I was talking to your mother while you were gone I figured you'd be gone for at least five minutes or so alright now just because I'm seeing what has happened I'm going to go back in. I love how this green that we put down originally, and you saw how messy that was, how that green has stayed. I, I did not add any green. That green is the pan pastels. I'm glad we decided to try this, Eileen, because this is way cool. Way cool. I'm going to add some of the Danny Zuko back in because I lost a lot of it. Just in a few places. Thanks, May. Yeah, I'm liking this one a lot too. These are definitely my colors, and it seems like these colors on that green background just are so much richer. You got some Milano slices? Good girl.
Now see, this is when I need a maid. Because if I had a maid or somebody here that would help me, I would say, could you please get me another BLT? <laughs> I'm not much of a cookie person, so um, but you give me a slice of bacon, I'm all over it. I'm going to run some of this blue now. I love when it runs. Oh, I think that's so pretty. There's just so much you can do with this now that I know you can get color to stay put if you want it to. Just add some pan pastels. You guys like that? You do pick great colors, Teresa. And do not listen to Eileen because she's going to bitch and piss and moan about it regardless. So I'm going to go ahead and sop up some of the excess water here. Or blow it. Hang on just a second. We've still got the blue one to do too. So be thinking on that blue one what colors we want to add because with the blue I think we could safely add pink. Oh no, not pink. Eileen will have a fit again. <laughs> um, yeah, because almost every color goes good with blue. Gosh, it's just so pretty. Yeah, that may be true, Judy, but next week she'll say, if I'm going to help you stream, you need to send me Mint Milano cookies. <laughs> then I'll have to order them from Amazon. Actually, talking about ordering food from Amazon, which I've never done, but I couldn't find the licorice that Robert liked. I looked on Amazon, and it was cheaper than anywhere I've ever found it, so I ordered him a whole case of licorice. <laughs> Oh, that's so pretty up in there. I'm going to give you a close-up here in a minute. That orange one, now that it's drying, it really is looking like um, underwater. It really is. This one's gorgeous. It is some kind of pretty. I'll show you that some really cool places on it. See up, like right up there where the, the light purple um, didn't really spread. It just let, left dots. This up here, oh my gosh, that you could look, I promise, in there. Look at how cool that is. That's one thing I got to remember about that the light purple. Um, it's got a lot of white in it, and that white takes a long, long time to dissolve. So, yeah, but like those blue speckles in there. Oh, is that not cool? So, 
So let me set this one over to dry. I'm not sure I'm crazy about that red right in the middle, but you get what you get, right? I'll bring that orange one, the blue and green and orange one back over. I don't know which one is prettier. They're both gorgeous, really. They're both really cool. Here's this one as it's drying. They change a little bit as they dry. They really do. Not saying that it makes them ugly or anything. They just change. So that's really cool. Oops. Kicking stuff on the floor. Come on, UPS guy. You need to get here. He's probably saving the best for last. All right. Now we've got that other blue. The light blue. Um, now crumple it up and give it to Roxy to sleep on. You know what? I haven't seen her much today. After I fed her this morning, she has, like, disappeared. She's gone. Yeah, the light purple had a lot of red in it. Yeah, isn't that odd, May? All right, this one, I just left a lot of white on purpose so that we could see what the, um, what the magicals do. Um, and this one's got a real light, kind of a light blue. Um... I don't even know what color to call that blue. What do I want to add on this? It's kind of a blue-green. I mix the blue-green. Let's see what we got going on here. What colors would really, really enhance this? Dark blue and black? Mmm. No. I'm not going to do dark blue and black. With the Magicals, Teresa, I like dark blue and black together. I really do. But the thing is, with the Magicals, with no control, one thing I learned about the Black Magicals is they really take over. Um, they really take over. So I'm, I'm almost afraid of them. I think on this one, I'm going to use more like the... Um, the C'est La Vie Green, which is a, a turquoise color. It doesn't appear to, Karen. Um, she asked if the pastel is affecting the color of the Magicals. No, there, there's no color mixing at all. That's probably the one thing we've learned here today. Um, is that the, the pan pastels on the paper stay put they don't mix so um that is a cool thing and if i think about it and mess with it yeah you know like your your control um becomes a lot greater all right here we've got um i kind of want to do that raspberry the raspberry is um like a bright bright pink i like pink and blue together What'd Susan say? She's got Eileen going. Susan, you got order. You got ordered oil paints instead of watercolor. Well, if it's Amazon, the cool thing about that is you can send it back. I'm thinking to do the pink and the green on the blue. Hang on, I'll lay it out here and you'll see. Yeah, I'm going to do the raspberry, I think. With just a little bit of the green. Yeah, I'm all right. You guys sold me. You ordered oil. Oh, poor thing. Well, shoot. There's a lot to be said for shopping in person, <laughs> but you can send it back. I've had to do returns on Amazon, and they're awesome about them. Oh, you already opened them. Oh, caca. <laughs> oh, and those paints can be pricey, too. All right, I'm going to have to run and get water here in just a minute, but we're going to try this. Right, you ready? Here we go. Absorb. 
saturate the paper. See the the pen pastels don't move at all when you spray them with the water. They just sit there. They don't move. Now I don't know. Let's see. Um, my hands are so dirty. And say maybe I could try and move them with my finger. Nope. As soon as I try and move anything with my finger, the paper starts peeling. So yeah, like after they're down, you gotta leave them. See there where the paper is real white? It should stay real, real vibrant. All right, we got enough. Uh oh, Susan. <laughs> oh no. I'll try and stay out of your way so you can see when the magicals start moving how totally cool it looks. I might have gotten on a little bit too much pink. Is there such a thing as too much pink, Eileen? <laughs> Is that not sweet? All right, I'm gonna while this is just sitting there moving. I'm gonna go get some more water. But see how that blue just stays put and they don't mix. When I do magicals, I need a gallon size spray bottle. So you can see, like this one, I'm glad I left that white. Um, because, see, in there where it's just on the white and it's bright, 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 and you can see the line where the pastels were. Let me see if I can find, yeah, here we go. Like right there where the pants pastels were and how the color changes immediately. So when I say the colors don't mix, they don't mix to make a third color. But the color changes because that to me looks purple in there. But it's really just the pink sitting on top of the blue. I like this one. Looks like fireworks to me. They can hear where it's just like, pew. They're not friends. Who's not friends? Eileen says blood splatter. Oh no, Monique said blood splatters. Doesn't look like blood splatters. Not that I know what blood splatters look like, but I watch crime TV. All right, I'm going to add just a little bit of that um, turquoise in, and we're going to see. And, yeah, they layer rather than mix. Exactly. All right, just quick color cover of water again. That up there is so pretty. I can't move it, so you'll have to wait and see it in a minute. because I want to leave some of that underlying blue because I think it's pretty. Alright, that's probably enough. We're going to see, yeah, the pastel shows through the magicals. Hi Debbie! Yeah, like in there you can see where the um, like right in there, that line right there 
The blue underneath is the pastels. The pink on top is the magicals. There's a lot of yellow in this. What color was it? C'est la vie. Had a lot of yellow in that. What's Debbie doing tonight? Ooh, an Audrey Hepburn portrait. That will be cool. Look at in there. Can you see that? Oh, man. How can I get... Oh, I want you guys to see how those colors are mixing down in there and running. Oh, it's so pretty. Trying to move it up so you can see how that red in there it's running. <gasps> it's so pretty. This is my least favorite of all our selections, but it's okay. Um, I don't know, Monique. When I get tired, I just quit. Or when Eileen runs out on me, I just say, okay, I'm done. That's all I can do. Get all I can do. I'm going to let them all run just a little bit more and then call this one done. But this one's weird because where the blue was underneath and the pink of mix, it's gotten a lot of purple. But the, the colors actually are not mixing. They're layering. What did I do with my rag? Anybody know? How can I lose stuff? Honestly, this area is so small. I'm sitting on it. <laughs> I get hot flashes. Yes, sir, Bob. But I like the areas of white peeking out here and there. Um, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to pick some of this up. You can definitely tell when you get too big a pile of um, powder. It does make the color very intense, but it also leaves a little pile of junk there. Alright, you need to get into the doctors then. Tiffany's Janet. Tiffany's. Tiffany's. I'm not following Eileen. I'm just letting this sit here and meld a little bit. I'm going to dry it right about now. Actually, I, I like this one. It looks like Christmas. Actually, I think it's coming across a lot different on screen than it is in real life. I'm going to have to close that blind is what I think I'm going to have to do. Let me see what happens when I do that. No, nope, that definitely jacks with it too much. Now I can't get the blind to go back up. This blind is about ready to get on my very last nerve. There we go. Pull from the center, it works better. <laughs> yeah, and the longer it sits, the different it starts behaving. Um, Alright, just because we can. Where's that real light, light orange? Um, I'm going to try and mute 
a little bit of that bright bright pink I'm not going to tell you. We'll let Eileen figure it out. Breakfast at Tiffany's. I'm only seeing part of the chat because I'm a mad scientist here, you know. If I don't like it, I'll pick it up. There, I muted some of that bright, bright pink with some little bit of orange. I need to get a new paper towel, too. I am going to have to get one. BRB. BRB. <laughs> All right, and that's enough from the peanut gallery in there. Yeah, I like that muted just a little bit. All right, time to blow it dry, and we'll go on to plan B, whatever plan B is. Oh, talking about Audrey Hepburn's painting. Okay between 6 and 7 Eastern. If you're um, watching this on YouTube um, and you have time on a Monday night, um, Debbie, what is your channel? Um, Carol TMT is the Magical Touch. What's your channel? And I'll announce it so people can come and watch you. Or your YouTube channel too. Because you're fun to watch. But all that blue in there, you guys, in the background, the light blue that you're seeing, that is all the pan pastels that I put on the paper originally. And underneath there, that purple, that's actually the pink showing through the blue. So I'm liking this a lot. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the name of the channel is just Debbie Epps, D E B B Y E P P S. Um, she does some really cool collage animals. Tonight she's going to do um, Audrey Hepburn. So it's between 6 and 7 Eastern Time on Ustream. Debbie Epps, go watch her. She's awesome. <laughs> I just said that to my whole 25 YouTube subscribers, Debbie. <laughs> Not really. I have a few more than that. I'm just bugging. This one's really pretty. See you later. I'm going to lift this one up. There's some parts of this that are just so pretty. Like, I'm glad I 
um, added the orange up in here. This one I probably am going to cut up for ATCs. Look at that up in there. All that color mixture. Isn't that pretty? And down here. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, we're using you guys in the chat. There's the link. All right, Eileen, either tell me what we want to do next or give me color combinations or something, or I'm just going to start making stuff up as I go along. One thing I am going to try. And I'll do that next. Um, oh, this glue, this one, it, as it dries, is getting so cool. This is why I love that orange. Um, this is that second one we did with the blue, green, orange that Eileen was just insistent about. See how that orange ends up looking like rust? It almost looks like copper rust or oxidation, whatever. Yeah, the orange really helped. But look at that. There's just so many really totally interesting places on this paper. Like that in there. Oh. See how that looks all rusty and old? The paper feels really good, too. Blue, pissy, purple, black. Okay, those are the, those are the colors that we're going to do. We're going to do blue, pissy, purple, and black. Okay, now if we're going to do that, do we want to do it? Um, do we want to lay down some pan pastels first? Or do we want to just do that combination on plain white? Here's the first one that we did. Those rivers look really interesting. It didn't dry as pretty as it was when we first did it, though. Okay. I should be getting answers to my important questions. Oh my gosh, get out of my way. We need a few more crap pages. Okay. I really, really like the way the pan pastels stay, though. So that it gives you just like one more color that you can control. I started out, that yellow one, CB, was on 25% cotton fiber, and the, everyone since then has been just on, honestly, the cheapest white card stock. It's, it's not a real heavy weight. Um, no, that was just the first one, Eileen. Um, the rest have been on this cheap, cheap um, card stock. I think I got it at Walmart. So yeah, before you start, what brand of book is the beast? It's um I think it's pronounced Miguel Ruiz, Susan. She wants to know the name brand of the beast. Um it's M I Q U E L R I U S graph paper. Um you can order it on Amazon. It's about twenty bucks on Amazon if I remember right. Um Barnes and Noble, it's nine dollars and ninety-five cents. I don't. I think ten dollars for that journal with graph paper. I don't think you can beat it. I think I had Robert pick me up two, so I have one brand new one that hasn't been touched. Yeah. So I I've used both. Um, Today, but yeah, I'm liking the way it behaves a little bit better on the cardstock, frankly, which um, surprises me. I really thought I'd like the cotton fiber paper better, but I think I'm liking the cardstock better. Surprise, surprise. I wouldn't, yeah, and you get graph paper, so that's another thing. All right, let's, 
you know what? Let's just for funs and giggles. I love brown, you guys. Um, I do have black pan pastels, Teresa. Do you want to do something with the black pan pastel? Yeah, one of these is black for sure. Um, I was going to say we could do a brown. All right, bye, Connie. You're done making pizzas, and you got to go fill the cooler. Uh, what are you doing today? All right, I'm looking for the black. Here's the black. All right, Teresa, you're gonna you're gonna tell me what to do. Let's do the black. You want to put the black down first? The thing is, I'm just afraid you're not going to see the colors on top of it because when you get the um, magicals wet, they become transparent. Yeah, I can control the black, but do I put it on first or do I put it on later? Let's, um, let's grab one of these sheets that I have just laying around that we've done before. Um... Like this one was just a cleanup paper. Do you mean add the black or put the black down and then let the colors work around it? Just I could do the pan pastels and um do a stencil too and get um you know a pattern underneath. That might be kind of cool. I might get a um. um let me go get a stencil. Let's just try that. What the heck? Actually, we could use my new stencil that I got the other day at Tuesday morning. I forgot to show you guys. I got this Andy Skinner stencil. I needed it like I needed a fleeping hole in my head, but it was a buck ninety-nine. So, yeah. So we could use that. Um, I'm a checkerboard fan. Or the kind of chevron. All right, let's just quickly do the chevron one then. We can do all of them if we want. Because we own it. It's ours. All right, I don't want to use... I'm going to have to have one assigned tool for the black, I think. Maybe I'll put it on with this. Um, oh, nope, I have a makeup sponge. I'll use the makeup sponge for the black. Because I think the black, when I put that on my sponge, the sponge is definitely going to be a dedicated sponge. So, hang on, I'm looking for the black one. That one's... I don't have one, and I don't want to go dig for one, so... What will we do? We'll use the red one. The other side of the red. All right. Now I'm just using like those makeup sponges you can get at Dollar Tree for a buck. I'm just using one of those. And this stencil that I'm I'm pushing this through, I just hand cut myself. Probably I wanted it one day for something and I didn't want to wait to order it, so I just cut it. I do that a lot because I'm impatient.
Now, we're not going to have very much white left on this, you know, but we'll do our best. You know, this black is going to be everywhere. Maybe we'll only do half the sheet. Because <laughs> it's going to take a while to do this whole sheet. Now one thing I will say about pan pastels, like to put them through the pencil like this, put them through the stencil, they are great. You have so much control. And the powder that's left over, I'll just knock it off into the trash. Just doing parts rather than the whole thing? All right. Then we'll start that up here. Oops, moved. Oops. All right, that's all we're going to do then. Yay. I'm going to go set this aside or I'm going to have this black crap everywhere. This will be just an experiment page. All right, I got to move the trash over so I can knock the powder off into it and not get it everywhere, which may be too late. Not too bad. Not too bad. See, the thing about the pan pastels is now that it's down, I can't rub that. I can't rub the, the excess powder off. Or I really, really create a mess. So we're just going to have to leave it. All right. And now you want um, pissy purple. Okay, spritz it with water. Um, the only thing that will happen, I'm pretty certain, is the water will absorb the, um, the paper will absorb the water. And the loose powder just moved and turned gray. That's all right. Actually, I'll spray it right off the edge. <laughs> yeah, that's the way you clean it up. Wet the paper. Spray it right off the edge. All right. I'm good. The pan pastels don't move with water, um, Sophia, if that's what you were wondering. Yeah, no, the pan pastels stay put, even when wet. Now, if I rubbed them, they would move. But just the water sitting on top, nothing changes. All right, so we wanted pissy purple. Do we want the dark purple or the light purple? Because we've only got the two purples. Let's start with the light. We can always add the dark, right? But this paper is absolutely absorbing the water like crazy. And that's really contrary to what I thought, you guys. I really thought the... Um, 
The pan pastels would kind of act as a barrier, but they're not at all. We'll do the dark second. You're edumacated now? Well, good. That's what you get for hanging out with Eileen. You get edumacated real good. Okay, we're doing the light first. Because it takes longer to dissolve. The white in some of these takes a lot longer to dissolve than the colors. What other color did you want? You want a blue? See how the, it's, there's a lot of red and the blue and the white? Um, and at first when you spray it, it all separates and then later on it all merges back together somehow to make the light purple. Because this, <coughs> excuse me, um, this is the light purple. The light stinks, but yeah. That was a cleanup print. Isn't that pretty? Big old blob of mess. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, this paper is totally absorbing that water. All right, we're going to go ahead and add some of the dark now. Yeah, Debbie, I suspect you're right that they're porous until you um, use it with a spray fixative. I just really thought it would a little bit repel the water. I just, or the magicals. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat is... I don't know if it's dry or tired or what, but <clears throat> I saw something posted from Jess yesterday, Kimberly, on Twitter. Or, yeah, it was Twitter. Twitter or Facebook? I don't know. She changed her portrait. <coughs> oh, sorry, you guys. See how that dark purple just takes over everything? That's why I like, like to use it last. Um, if you use Versamark, you would get more of a resist. I would, yeah, Susan, I suspect you're right. Um, and it, it, sometimes I don't use Versamark. Sometimes I use... Um, just like embossing ink or glycerin and um, it will absorb the water a little bit yeah I don't know that it's um, it's interest it's an interesting thought I may have to try that I am I'm drinking coffee but it doesn't seem to be helping you guys <clears throat> it's almost like there's something in there um, get aqua. As close as I've got to aqua is this say la vie. But see how that black is absolutely staying put? So that's kind of a cool thing to know. I might be breathing in the magical. Oh my gosh, just think how pretty my lungs are right now. Breathing in the magicals. <clears throat> yeah, I may have to go just guzzle some water. And you guys, I'm, I'm looking at the camera, and I don't know if your screen is looking my, like my screen, but that blue that I just put on, 
that she said get aqua um, on screen that looks like a dirty icky green in real life that is like let me show you the color if I can get it up close it's actually that color it's really really pretty blue green but on camera it looks gross so that I don't get alright some of this I'm gonna go ahead and make run a little bit I gotta clean up the edges I have this stuff everywhere you guys oh if you could see this table okay. hang on just a sec somebody's at my door oh hunky UPS is here Oh man, it's a big old box. I'm so lucky. I'll open it later. There's really nothing fun in there. The boom arm for the camera, Robert's wallet, and the chipboard. Yeah, the purple is really purple, isn't it? Hunky UPS, I only saw his rear end walking away. He dumped it and ran. He must have a full truck today. He's here about 20 minutes early, though. And see where that light purple is in there? That's the original light purple that I put in because that paper was white. <clears throat> Cougar Rat plays in the background. <laughs> I didn't order anything fun, Jennifer, I really, unless I surprised myself. Sometimes I throw something in right at the end, and then when I get it, I'm like, oh, I forgot I did that. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. But yeah, I don't think I did that this time. I didn't even order any books. I had books in there and then I took them out. I thought, until you read the ones you bought in Oklahoma City, you cannot buy any more books. And I bought a few in Oklahoma City. So, yeah, I can't have any more until I read the ones that I've already gotten. Right? Right. I know that's a stupid rule. I don't know who made it up. I think me. All right. Anything you guys want me to add? Because the parts that look white on here are actually light, light purple. This one I will probably tear up and use in collage. Will be my guess. But see how purple, purple, purple that is? That is... you Now, Eileen, I don't care what you say. You cannot call that... Well, the closer I get it, the lighter it gets. You cannot call that pissy purple. I'm sorry. Look at that yumminess underneath that I need to clean up. I gotta go make a place over here to put that down so I can clean up all that yummy purple underneath. I'm not even gonna blow this one. I'm just gonna try and move it and hope to God it doesn't drip. Famous last words, right? These are getting dry enough I could stack them. That one is so pretty. Oh, she's so peat. So pretty, so pretty. All right, say bye bye for now. Might come back later. Yeah, so doing the black through the stencil, good idea. Very good idea. Very, very. I'm going to use this pretty one that I like. I'm going to clean up some of the purple now. Yep. Here we go. Just plop it down. Just go for it.
Look at how pretty. Bye, Teresa. Have a great afternoon. We'll catch you later. I hope I make it to Debbie's. We'll just have to see what Ratatouille's doing. I just feel bad um, after he's gone and done his treatment all day. Um, I, I try and spend time with him in the evening because, yeah, it's just not fair. Otherwise, I don't think so. All right, here's that green, purple, blue. See how all the colors in the end kind of just melded together? I'm going to go ahead and clean up this with this. Don't have a cow, man. It's all just paper. You can't ever forget that. At the end of the day, this is just paper and product. I can't get emotionally attached to it. There. Might have helped it. Might have hurt it. Who knows? I can't say. There you go. Don't waste the ink. Lost the rag again. This one is really, it, it's so much darker than you guys can see. I wish, I might have to buy a better camera. Maybe next month I'll buy a better camera. Alright, so now let's, do we want to, is that what you wanted to do? Well, Teresa's gone now, so that was for her anyway. Okay, good, Debbie, thank you. Um... Yeah, because during the day when he's gone, I have plenty of time to watch. But in the evening, I just, I can't neglect the boy, you know? All right. All right, come up with another idea. That stencil idea worked awesome. Now, keep in mind, too, if you don't have the pan pastels, I mean, Eileen and I were just um, playing today, so, but if you don't have the pan pastels and you want to, um, for example, that one I just did with the stencils underneath, um, you could do acrylic paint, black acrylic paint through stencils, and then put the magicals on top and get the sa exact same effect. So, you know, as far as that goes, because the, the acrylic paint, when it is dry, it actually will repel any other product that goes on top of it. Yeah, I call Robert Ratatouille now, Whippy, because um, his treatment is arsenic, which is rat poison, and I just thought Ratatouille fit him. Because he goes and gets rat poison every day. So now he's ratatouille. I just explained. <laughs> he's a lovable rat, but he's a rat. Yeah, his treatment is, in fact, arsenic. Hard to believe. I mean, it, it kind of freaks me out that they're pumping arsenic into him every day. I told him it's in his hair follicles now. He needs to be really careful and be awfully nice to me. All right, got another piece of paper because we've got a little bit more time to kill. I'm not sure what I want to try now because I know that the pan pastels work. Um, you know, the one thing we could do, I want to see what the pan pastels, because a long time ago, um, and these are still sitting here, believe it or not. We did these. Um, these were some of the first magicals we did. And I think that we had smeared gesso down, put the magicals on top, watched them work. And you can see here where there was some gesso there, and then the plain paper absorbed the color different. Um... 
than where the gesso was and then I cut all this up into squares and just taped it down and then put um, I don't know if that was a grease pencil or what um, but this truly was mixed media where there's a little bit of everything there's gesso there's magicals there's everything on these um, I think now what I want to try is um, taking some of these papers <clears throat> and putting pan pastels on top of them. The only thing, and, and this bothers me about pan pastels, no matter what I do with them, and I, this is my least favorite pan pastel, so we're going to do this one. Um, they're easy to smear. That's the thing, is they're so easy to smear. So that's why I kind of back off from doing them on top of anything, you know, because they mix beautifully. Um, but yeah, they smear like crazy. Um, could you try that technique that watercolor peeps do sometimes? They put a wash down cover the surface and the lay a stencil on top and leave it there to dry or at least partially dry. We can sure try that on the last one, Mac. I'll go ahead and take this um, stencil out and we'll sure try it. I don't know why you why it wouldn't work because what that's doing is um, absorbing the water differently is what it does. The, the paper will absorb the water differently. Yeah, you'd have to add the texture. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a good idea, Sophia. Um we can sure try it cuz we ain't got nothing better to do. But on this one, I'm going to go ahead and and just um put the pan pastels on top. So after you've got a cool background, Um, well, the, okay, there's the green. I'll just use this other stencil. It should clean. <laughs> it has the Eileen seal of approval. That makes you really happy. Thanks, you guys. I like those ones that we did early on, too. I'm going to do something with them. Um, I um, I just haven't done it yet. That's why they're still laying here after all these months. Keep in mind, that literally was three months ago or more that we did those. Yeah. And they're still laying here right on top of a stack of unfinished junk. Okay, now I'm going to do the pan pastels to see how opaque they are so that if I wanted to use them on top, which I could also do this with acrylic paint, so to use DD sprays, don't email me. Okay, I'm going to use green. on top of the light green here. Let's just see. And again, I'll just do sections. I'm going to do the whole stencil. It gets pretty opaque. And remember, this is totally flat. I mean, it's not like um, It pretty much obliterates everything underneath it, so that's kind of cool.
and I don't know, a lot of times when I do acrylic paint on stencils, it invariably will run underneath. That does not happen with pan pastels. This one's going to be real, real light because I used um, the Sienna Brown. But you can see it. Yeah, so I'm, I don't know. I'm liking the combination of the two. I'm liking it, liking it, liking it. All right, Eileen, tell me what you want to see next. You want me to do Sophia's thing? Because I've got about 30 minutes left. I hope Jean's little kitty cat's okay. Now this blue is not near as opaque. I know if I use the purple I could obliterate everything. But this blue is just not that opaque. I don't know why. Yeah, the blue is not opaque. I mean it left an image for sure. Do the MAC technique? Okay. I will do that. Yeah, so that's, it'll sit right on top. The more uses I find for them, you guys, the more I can justify ordering more colors, you know. And keep in mind, too, now I could just go right over that and those elements would stay. So that's a cool thing, too. All right, so the the MAC technique, and I'll, I'll do that on, I'll do it on the cardstock. Um, this one. Okay, I'm putting these away. Um, tell me step one, Mac, of how you want me to do this so you get the results you want to see. You said start with a wash. So do you want me to start with a wash of just one color magical or what? and tell me what color you want me to use. Basically do exactly what you do with the magical sprinkle spritz with water and get the surface covered in color and wet. Okay. Let's pick a color that we want to start with. All right. All right, there's a piece of card stock. We shall get it damp. And by now, see my hands are real dirty and I don't... Look at how much magical powder is just sitting in the world. Oh my gosh. I'm sure my lungs are pretty colorful by now. All right. Color choice is mine. Oh my gosh, you are so much more agreeable than Eileen. Um, well, I know me, I always gravitate toward the blues. Okay, this, the ocean breeze, which is the other blue? The Caribbean blue is gorgeous, too. Let's do the Caribbean blue. I always go for blues, too. Yeah, always. All right, we have got wet paper. All right, and what 
color do we want with the blue? We could do like a lime green with the blue. With this blue, a lime green would really be pretty. All right, we're going to do this blue and a lime green. Let's use the luscious lime next. A real pretty lime green. And fill in. Oh, those blues are just so gorgeous. Oh, I just love them so much. I want to eat them. This might be one of those pages that I just have to leave alone. Just leave it alone. It's perfect just the way it is. Alright, and then we're going to add um, the lime green to it. And then I'll I'll go ahead and dry it enough where there aren't puddles, but it's still wet. You know what I mean, jelly bean? And then we'll have to sit and let it dry for the next time. All right, so there'll be a li little bit of white left. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, that lime green, oh, it's so pretty too. <gasps> it's almost like a river runs through it, huh? <laughs> Don't dry it? Alright, because, I mean, this is puddly wet. Do I want it that, that wet? Because it's puddly, puddly wet. Yeah, see, that's what, it, uh, what I was thinking. The paper will absorb it differently. Alright, because this stencil isn't very big. It's only going to do part of it. Well, that'll give us, it'll be a controlled experiment then. Part of it will have the design, part of it will not. We'll use the pin of our design. Because see, it's pretty small. But I'm going to move it over to its drawing spot before I put that down. But really, it is puddly, you guys. Puddly, puddly. Really puddly. I'll get some of it to move. See how puddly? All right, it's it's still wet, but it's I think it's absorbed enough that I can move it. I got to go make a spot first. And then I'm just going to plop the, the stencil down on top. It's completely flat. And I just plop the stencil down. So when it dries, I'll either tweet a picture or whatever. And I'll clean up the rest of this with this ugly paper that I've been just jacking with. Don't listen to Eileen. <laughs> Are you kidding? Sophia, do you want me to lose my job? Oh my gosh. I cannot ignore Eileen. That would be suicide, for real.
case you guys couldn't tell, I was not crazy about this sheet of paper. That's why I'm softening this stuff up. If it um, if it gets uglier, any uglier than it was, um, yeah, it just goes in the trash and we don't care. All right, I've got a few minutes left. Is all. So is there anything else we need to see or do before we leave? Oh my gosh, my whole pad of um, post-its that I had sitting here are multicolored now. The magicals are have gone everywhere. That's all right. Now they're pretty. Eileen, do you play with your magicals a lot? I'm just curious. Inquiring minds want to know. I'm going to have to wholesale clean and just muck this place out when I'm done. Look at how dirty. <laughs> Y'all sound like a bunch of spoiled children. Well, you are all just a bunch of spoiled children. That's why you sound that way. Um, yeah, look, I'm going to have to go take a complete shower when I'm done here. But that's good because I need to wash my hair anyway. <clears throat> And then the same old drill. You use them because you love them? Yeah, see, I, I love them too. I really, really love them. So, I don't know, Dorothy. I don't think so because, um, I don't know, Debbie comes on between 6 and 7 Eastern time, which is, what, about three hours or so. But Jean isn't streaming because she had to take the kitty to the vet. So... Yeah. Makes me feel bad. Here's one of those papers that I did the other day that I crinkled up and then sopped up some of the other paint and it didn't get any prettier, I promise you. So I'm going to go ahead and um, take what color is really pretty. Um... I really like that green. I hate to say this, Eileen, but I really like that green pan pastel. And just wipe it over the... Remember I said about wrinkling up the paper? Yeah, exactly, Angie. If you could keep a straight face on that one, you deserve an award or something. Just going over the top where the where the wrinkles are. I like this technique a lot. Like the crinkly paper and then either put something down in the valleys or um, highlight the tops of it. I, I don't know. Looks distressed or something. Yeah, see, that helped this immensely. Just that little bit of nice, bright color. And when I call you guys spoiled, don't take it to heart and get all your little panties in a wad because I fully recognize that I am the most spoiled brat on earth. I just don't have a problem with it. i kind of been spoiled most of my life. I had a dad, and then I had a husband who was spoil me, and Robert spoils me, so, yeah. I say that, but I don't mean it maliciously, for sure. Okay, I'm going to lift this up so you guys can see it now. So this could be a really cool technique, too, where you crumple up the paper. You're not offended? Good, because I'm not either. Yeah, you could use the pastels to highlight things. The only thing you have to remember um, is if you want it to stay put, and believe me, my hands are filthy, but if you want the pan pastels to stay put, okay, 
Um, at this point, I would have to spray this with a fixative to get it to stay in place. But yes, you could use it like a gilt or something to highlight the, the embossed areas for sure. But keep in mind, I can move this with my finger. And I don't ever put my fingers in the pan pastels because the oils will um, probably make them clot, you know. So yeah, that's another thing. Looks pretty now. Oh, you say knickers in a knot on your side of the pond? Yeah, I say panties in a wad a lot. Don't get your panties in a wad. But these tools that they sell with the pan pastels are, they're almost magical. <laughs> and they last forever. I mean, these things last forever. Like they never wear away. Durable. So, the only thing I wouldn't do is I wouldn't put black on this and then put it in another color. And I wouldn't put this in white. So, but otherwise, yeah, I could use this for any color now. I'm still going to throw this away, but just to show you guys that that's another way to use them. You say knickers in a twist? Yeah. Now I'm just doing the same thing on the back side of this paper. Um, the paper's going in the garbage, you guys, so, because <laughs> now that I've got it on both sides, I would really be creating a mess. But that's one thing about the um, Magicals, too, that when it absorbs through the paper, you have two sides to choose from. If you don't like the top, look at the bottom. Maybe you like the bottom. Because now that I put the blue on this, this side is more interesting to me than the other side. Yeah, all of a sudden this side now has become far more interesting to me than this side. Isn't that weird that that's what it looks on that side and that's that side? It's almost like magic. See, I can sit and play with stuff like this all day long, just dink around. Maybe at the end of the day, I've not created anything that I'm going to use, but I might have learned something along the way, if I can remember it. But this, now, speaking of ideas... Um, because I don't trust my memory, this is something I would write down in my idea journal. Um, because I don't trust my memory. And sometimes I have to learn things over and over and over again if I don't write it down, because that is the honest to God truth. If I write it down, I'll remember it. If I don't write it down, day after tomorrow, it's gone for good. It is a pretty blue, isn't it? You prefer the second side too? Yeah, me too. Because that orange down there looks like rust. So, using the Viva, Viva Decor metallic rubs with wrinkles would be cool. Yeah. Um, I do have some of those rubs. Um, I'm not sure where they are. Oh, yes, I do know where they're at. Um, yeah, and that's another thing. I don't remember who was talking about using um, the pan pastels. Um, let's see. I'm going to... Um, Karen was saying about using the, the pan pastels on her embossed powders, and yes, it would work. Um, 
Same thing with the, the Viva metallic rubs or any kind of the rubbing products. You can use those on the um, embossed papers. I don't have an embosser and I'm not going to buy one. But yeah, you could do that. Same deal. Same exact texture or er, technique. Metallic rub over heavily textured gloss gel that you spread all over a failing art journal page was the thing that saved it. The gloss gel made the color sing because of the gloss and the metallic made the texture look awesome. See, sometimes those are just happy mistakes, Mac, that, you know, you just get darn lucky. But I think that's partly, too, how you learn, you know, and it's how Seth, Seth After and some of these guys um, are now making a living doing their art is because they weren't afraid to try something different than the norm and you know they came up with distress oxides or products that are are um, desirable you know they they use something in an unusual way and I admire them for that I mean I wish I would come up with some great idea that everybody wanted to do and would buy from me but I'm too lazy and don't want a job, so even if that happened, it would go nowhere. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I like my freedom. If I want to stream, I stream. If I don't, I don't. Try that on your face. Oh my gosh, that's funny. But yeah, those are, are happy mistakes and, and learning experiences for sure. And see, like most of these products... You know, I had never tried Magicals before Eileen gave me that first hit of crack. Um, but now, I mean, I every time I use them, I can see um, another application. Or the colors are just so vibrant and yummy and, and rich that I want to do more with them. Um, I've even been thinking about how could I use them in the Beast. You know, like, but I don't like getting the beast wet. I don't mind using watercolor in it a little bit, my water brush. Um, for example, all the headings, all the headers in here, those are watercolor. Um, the backgrounds are generally watercolor. Um, and then I go in and use um, colored pencil on top. But I don't like getting the beast, like a whole page, this is whole page, half of the page was wet. And the book isn't crinkly, but I don't want to get this real wet. Unless it's late in the evening and I'm not going to touch it for a few hours. <laughs> I don't even know that song. The old dope pet oh the old dope peddler, yeah. Yeah, see Eileen gave me that first set of crack. It's all downhill from there. And I shouldn't say that because, honestly, there are people out there struggling with drugs and drug addiction. Um, I say that very reverently. Um, I know it's a problem, but it's not a problem in this household, I can promise you. <laughs> Isn't that horrible that I feel like I have to explain myself because the whole world is so flippin' politically correct that you're scared to death that you're going to offend a crack addict? What the hell's wrong with me? Never mind. <laughs> But really, that was like a politically correct thing, and I, I'm not politically correct at all. Exactly, Mac. So, anyway. Alright, we're at our three hours. Um, I don't know, I may end up turning this right here into a journal cover, too. That may end up being a journal cover. And it may end up being given away too. And another thing I have that I've been saving up um, from all these journals that I've been working on here and there and everywhere. I have all these um, weaving strands left, left over, that I can use. And then these little pieces, they're just so pretty and cute. I don't want to throw them away, so I'll probably paste them in a book just as a reminder of what I've di done, what I did, what I did. 
or turn them into bookmarks or something. Look at that one. It's so pretty. That was the end off Eileen's book. And I have all these circles of magical paper that I've got to um, glue down. And then I've also got the, the remaining squares from that first project that I can glue down too. So, yeah, there are future projects out of some of this. And then a lot of it might end up in the trash too. So, bookmarks, yeah. I could make bookmarks. Um, but yeah, I've got this stuff that will either... I know me, if I don't use it next week or so, every bit of this ends up in the garbage. I've saved it long enough. But now I have more paper to play with. Make a smash journal because they all came they all came from crack. Yeah, exactly. Alright, I'm gonna take my cracked up self to the um shower and see if I can get these hands anywhere close to clean so I could start cooking. Add to a card blank. Yeah. I I don't know, maybe someday we'll just have a what to do with leftover stuff day, you know. And because you guys are very inventive. Very. So, anyway. Yeah. These hands are going for a bath right now. It's a good thing that doesn't bother me. Alright, ladies. Have a great day. If you watched on YouTube, God bless you again. And I'll catch you guys later.